All right, I'm the Fly Rain Master, and today we're going to talk about getting my passion back for auto repair. Now, for me, obviously, I went through a pretty rough period where, well, getting fired in the public eye sucks. Now, for my audience, you're probably not going to be in the public eye, but you're going to have to deal with, you know, family, friends, if you get fired, or you just are losing the passion for this industry. How do you get it back? Now, how I got it back was diving head first into the kind of stuff I love doing. That's the thing, is the more you can do of what you enjoy in this industry. For me, it's check engine lights. Getting rid of those pesky lights on the dash. I love doing that. It's fun for me. It's you know always challenging, always interesting. Well, mostly always interesting. But getting that passion back, going in, diving into can systems, going into check engine lights, ABS faults, diagnosing those problems again has really brought back that passion. The passion for fixing cars properly for customers. And I think that's the best way to do it, is kind of zone out from the minutia of the problems in your shop, whether they're perceived problems, whether they're real problems, just kind of block those out and go after the actual stuff you enjoy doing. Focus on the stuff you enjoy doing. I know ticket distribution being what it is can be you know, problematic for focusing on a specific thing, but go back and just focus on doing it, doing the job, going in and just knocking out that brake job going in and knocking out those valve covers. Go back to what got you into auto repair in the first place. Doing the work, fixing cars for customers, getting that car back to them and better than they dropped it off state. That's where the passion for me comes from, is doing that. Broke car comes in and I get to, I get to fix it and give that car back to them without that light on, that misfire, Whatever it is, you know, maybe for, you know, for here in Georgia, tag, <laughs> you know, license plates. You have to have emissions test in Metro Atlanta to get a license plate. And to be able to go in and fix that for a customer is satisfying to me. And that's where my passion has always been in this industry. Instead of looking back at the old shop and the stuff I could have fixed, moving forward, stop worrying about the little things at the new shop. Just focus in on diagnosing and repairing cars. I love it. Going in and fixing a car is, that's what you need to focus on, is you need to focus on the good stuff about what you do. Instead of focusing on, yeah, I'm, I might not be making as much hours as I could, or, you know, they're doing stupid stuff with management. You know, I don't make enough money. Instead of focusing on that kind of stuff, switch it up. Focus on the stuff that you really do enjoy about the industry. Focus on that kind of stuff. You know, zone out into watching, you know, Super Mario or Eric O. Sit there and focus on learning. You know, figure out where your passions are in this industry and focus on them. Focus on the stuff you enjoy instead of, you know, lingering on the stuff you hate. Because it doesn't matter what career you choose. There's going to be stuff you don't like about it. Trust me. <laughs> you know, side note about me. Not all that long after I was fired, my brother <laughs> was downsized at his company and he does IT. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it can happen. And, you know, he did nothing wrong. He just got downsized out of a job. And... So don't, instead of focusing on those problems, focus on the stuff that really matters in your life. Focus on your family, focus on your hobbies, focus on the stuff you like about the job. Don't go there thinking, oh man, I got, it. I got this car that's kicking my butt. No, focus on today, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna figure out that car that's kicking my butt. I'm gonna knock it out. And that's what you really need to do is you need to change your attitude from negative, negative, negative to positive, positive, positive. Don't look at the negatives. You know, I've talked about it many times. I'm a negative person. 
Glass is always half full for me. Always has been. Focus on the other half of that glass. Focus on half full. Focus on the good stuff that you've got going on. The more you focus on that and the less you focus on the bad stuff, the better your attitude's gonna be. The better you're gonna work because if you're not focusing on that service rider that's bugging the crap out of you, the less you're gonna worry about him bothering the crap out of you. Just, you know, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I'll get it done when I get it done. Back to work. Focus on the good stuff. So I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.